Good morning, y'all. It's here, fall. It's my favorite season of all times. And I am so, well, I guess it's not technically here in Atlanta, but it finally isn't 100 degrees, which makes it feel very much like fall. And today, I, well, yesterday I went and got my nails done and I picked this like really dark oxblood or eggplant color um, and it just had me inspired and thinking about fall and I just thought how fun would it be to sit down and start talking about all the things that I do to get ready for this season. Y'all, I'm telling you, this is the season I thrive. I love the weather, the temperatures. I absolutely love the clothing. I love the color palette. There is just something magical about when you wake up, the breeze is blowing in from the windows and you need to like put on a cozy sweater and just cuddle up on the couch. I love just doing all the fall things such as, you know, going to pumpkin patches and decorating for fall and, you know, I'm basic. I love a good pumpkin spice latte. Like, I love everything flavored apple. I just, I love this season, you guys. Like, there's just something so magical. Like, I love Christmas and Christmas is very magical. But I tell you, I thrive in fall. Like, fall is my season and I just love it. So, it's been a while since I've sat down and talked to, like, filmed a video. And I just thought we could jump into it. And there are some things I do to get ready for the fall season. So let's grab a cozy blanket, a cup of coffee, and let's talk about what we can do to get ready for the fall season. Oh, I'm just so excited. Okay, so these are not all gonna be like wonderful things, but I thought we could talk through them and then do a little decorate with me for fall. Um, Ian's gonna get our stuff out of storage and I will be decorating later today. But there are some things that I feel like fall is the perfect season to kind of do a reset and to, um, you know, get yourself ready and like kind of, I don't know, summer just stays so busy with trips and I feel like there's always a ton of weddings and, you know, I work in manufacturing in a way and so I feel like there's always, like the summer's always busy because you're trying to get ready for like market and trade shows and so there's always this big push. So I just feel like I don't have any downtime in the summer to do things that may, like the extra things, right? So the first thing I do in fall, and it depends on where you live, but I trim back my shrubs and my plants because it is a good season to do that, right? So like you want, depending on what kind of shrubbery and plants and things like that, but for the most part, I want to shape it up before it goes dormant for the winter. Um, in the summer, honestly, after the growing season, during the summer, it is just too blessed hot to do anything outside. And so once it starts to get cooler weather, I weed my flower beds. I trim back my bushes and shrubbery, and it really helps too to like eliminate the number of trees or leaves that you have to pick up. So let's, uh, you know, if you haven't, if you don't do this, maybe add it to your list. Also kind of in the same vein is we always clean our gutters. Our backyard, we have amazing foliage. Like there's a ton of like really old tulip poplar trees. But with that, we get all of the seedlings, we get tons of leaves. I think last year we had something like 23 yard waste bags full of leaves and that didn't even count all of the like trash cans that we use constantly. Um, like the ones we fill up over and over and over again. Like we just, you know, we honestly didn't. It was so many leaves. So we have to clean our gutters and I feel like we clean them once in the spring, Ian tries it to do it once a quarter, but especially right now, we kind of clear them out because we also get a lot of rain during the fall. So like full gutters, rain equals not a great mashups. 
Um, another thing I kind of, you know, talked about it earlier. You have that crispness in the air, especially when you get up out of the out of the bed in the morning. Um, so I swap out my linens. So um, depending on where you live, right? Like when we lived up in Minneapolis, you had to do this even more. Um, when it gets colder but putting in a thicker duvet or changing your sheets out to flannel sheets my sister loves a good flannel sheet set i i don't love flannel sheets because i do sleep hot but um i do like to have that cozy thick blanket we tend to add another blanket because ian gets really cold but um yeah switching out your bedding and like maybe leaning into those cozier colors whereas like summer you might have more of like neutrals and, and linen and things like that you know moving into a cotton or flannel is really good time of year to swap it over again it depends on where you live if you live in the south it may be too early for y'all to do that just yet but like it is something to consider okay this one is like not as glamorous and not really um fall oriented but i want to make space for all of those scrumdilliumptious fall things um, so I try to clean out my fridge every quarter I try to, but, um, you know, we all have that drawer or wall of condiments that is just, you never take the time to look and see if anything's expired. And, and honestly, the shelf lives on those are so long. It's like years because of everything in it. But, um, I do try to take some time to clean that out to make sure that I've got like not a bunch of old expired stuff in and in there and you know like get rid of anything that's like summer flavored that is like gonna go bad or not necessarily get rid of it but try to use it up and and also just clean out like i mean we could all use a good fridge clean out right so <clears throat> if you haven't done it lately here's your sign go do it check those expiration dates get rid of all of that stuff that i know is in there we all have it and we're like eh, that's bad that's from years ago um next thing up is cleaning out your closet hear me out i'm not saying get rid of everything that you did but it is a good time to go through your clothes and look at them seasonally you just got done with summer if you did not wear it this summer maybe you should let it go. You know those summer tops that have like the cute little pineapples or the tassels or whatever, or if it just doesn't fit and you had all these intentions of like having these wonderful things, like this is a good time to purge some of those things that you're ready to part with. And I strongly suggest either, you know, reselling them on Poshmark or um, you can, this is not, not sponsored at all, but, um, you can order a clean out my closet bag from thread up and send it so because if your clothes are like if they're good quality and they still look good but they're just not your style or they don't fit or anything else try giving them a second second life right um another thing that i tend to do especially for the fall season y'all there is something wonderful about like seasonal recipes I have some amazing recipes that like feel perfectly fall. Like there's this one from um, HelloFresh that we recreate or we buy it if we're doing HelloFresh at the time and it's got parsnips and summer sausage and like couscous in it. I think it actually calls for bulgur I think is the grain. But anyway, it is phenomenal. It's got caramelized onions and it's my favorite, but I'm not going to eat that. It's like very very like harvesty or like butternut squash, right? Like recipes with butternut squash in them. Um, Y'all, I'm here for it. So I tend to like find some new recipes on Pinterest or pull out some of those recipes that I love but are very seasonal. Um, also with the cooler air, I make this amazing quinoa chicken chili. I'll link some recipes of my favorite ones below. Um, for you guys, but like I like to pull them out and like kind of add them to our shopping list. Ian and I, um, every week we sit down and we make our shopping list for, for the week and like, well really we make the menu and then the shopping list, right? Like if we do not plan out meals, it's utter chaos and anarchy in our home. It's like, what are we gonna have for dinner? I don't know, we don't have anything. 
And so we do that every week. It's like honestly something I dread every week. He's like, all right, I made the menu. And I'm like, ugh, I don't wanna do that. But um, it does help us cut down on food waste, first of all. Secondly, it also helps us like not overbuy and it helps us like stay on track and eat at home instead of just going out. Um, okay, more things to do with, you know, actually, um, actually decorating for fall and like making your home feel all cozy. So I swap out a lot of my dried florals. Um, so I have like some greenery stems and things that just like kind of stay in my vases to add some like life and color to things. But in the fall, I have some really pretty dried florals that I've gotten from Hobby Lobby and Michaels and I tend to swap them out and um, move them around just to add some fall colors. So I, I'll be doing that today. Um, also, y'all, I'm a sucker. I, maybe this is the Southern gal in me at my heart. Like I love, love to put a new wreath on the door. There is something that when you pull up to your house and you just see this beautiful wreath on your front door, um, it just it just makes the season. Like it is like the creme de la creme, the cherry on top, like I just love it. And we recently got a new front door. I didn't really vlog about it, but um, I've got a fall wreath that I love and I cannot wait to put it on the front door. And I have a lot of outdoor flags, like little garden flags that I change out to. Like there's just something about it. And like when the leaves start falling, like it might be a little early, but we're gonna be traveling this fall. Um, and so I want to be able to enjoy it because when I get back and when Thanksgiving is over, the minute we're decorating for Christmas, like it's happening, we're doing it. So I want to be able to enjoy my fall stuff. Um, something else that really sets the tone. So we've talked about like, you know, the maintenance stuff and clothing stuff, but um, we also need to talk, like we talked about the food, but uh, there is something about lighting a brand new fall scented candle and shopping for it and sniffing all of it. Listen, the scents don't really change, right? But the little vessels, they can change from season to season. I actually have one. I bought an extra one that I found at Target last year that I loved so much um, that I'm just gonna, like I got two of them. I got two different scents. And really like I light a new candle. I try to keep it going for the season, but um, I have a second one, so I'm just gonna use that. But we, we might go shopping for another one. You never know. Why not, right? When in Rome. Um, that to me just sets the tone. Scent is such a powerful sensation, um, or such a powerful, what do you call it? Sense. Um, and I just feel like I equate a lot of emotion and um, I mean, it's scientifically proven that people, when they smell something, it like triggers memories. And so I really think a lot of people don't um, play into that as much, especially when they're decorating. And like, it can, it can change the vibe of your house for sure. Like a warm cinnamony scent or like pumpkin scent, um, it can, it can really make or break a, a place. So, and then the last thing to do that I do to get ready for fall is to decorate for fall, which we're going to do together. So, um, grab a cup of coffee and let's get this place looking like it is, ready for the new season. And I'm gonna get Ian to get out all of my fall stuff. And I can't wait, y'all. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be wonderful. I love fall so much. So let's get to it. So I've got a little hook right here underneath my light. Easy peasy. Isn't that cute? Okay, so most of what I have is just little stuff. Like I've got my jack-o'-lantern that I put out on the front porch. Um, I got this second hand years ago, years and years and years ago. Um, last year I bought some cute new velvet pumpkins. Um, these were from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Honestly, I was just at Hobby Lobby today and they have a lot of the same fall stuff they had last year. So if you're looking for these, pretty sure you can pick them up. Um, so got those. Um, and over the years, I had, oh, I got this one from Hobby Lobby last year too. So I'll be putting those out. Um, over the years, 
I had gotten little ceramic pumpkins. These I got from the Dollar Tree. Like, I want to say when I was in college. I know I've had these since I was in college. Um, so they're just little ceramic pumpkins. They're really cute. They're all a little different. Um, honestly, this is about all I have as far as decor goes. And I have some, uh, I have some like picks and things, but I don't really put this out anymore. I've held on to it for years. I have some orange curtains. I used to do more, um, but I only have two curtains of those and I've just kept them in here. I also have an orange throw. I don't, I don't really put orange in my house anymore. It doesn't really go with my aesthetic. I tend to sprinkle in more neutrals and whatnot. And like, obviously like this greenery and things like that. Um, so let's put these out. And I think I have some more faux florals. Let me, I, I need to look for them. Anyway, let's put these out first and then um, we'll, we'll finish up. I like putting this big faux leather one. Um, on my white bookshelves because I feel like it stands out more. So um, let's, um, I do also have these. I use this acid green color in, in my living room. So I'm probably gonna swap out some eucalyptus with these. These feel fall to me because it's kind of like wheat, you know? Right here, just kind of nestle it in. See those, that's competing heights. I don't know, can y'all see that? Probably not. Let me pull it in a little bit. So, you know, I've got this piece of pottery here and this pumpkin and it feels like it's just a little too similar in scale. So I might move this up here for the time being and leave my little pumpkin there. Um, I've also got this pretty little green one that is too close in scale. So let me see if I can get a little short stumpy one. All right, I brought two different ones depending on color. I like this one. Um, so like that scale feels better but they're kind of similar in coloration. So maybe I'll add my little, my little orange one there, which I think looks good. Okay, I've got my collection of like random candlesticks here and I've got eucalyptus in here. Um, I'm actually gonna take this out and add it into another vase, but I'm gonna add in this greenery here, which I think will bring a little bit of harvest the space um, this was kind of curled up so it might take a little bit for it to fall out um, but I really like it in that face and this green candlestick kind of competes with it now so I'm gonna move things around for my lighter so a quick tip for you if you can't if your candlesticks are too wide for your holders you can actually heat up the end with a lighter and get it nice and pliable and drip a couple of things of wax in there and then hold it and hopefully not get it all over your mantle like I just did. Um, but that'll actually help your candlestick to sit upright. So I have a lot of candlesticks here. Um, I didn't intend to have this many, but this is what happens when you buy them at estate sales and then you didn't realize you had so many. It's a problem, y'all. Um, one I don't mind having, but it is a problem. Obviously, I don't like these very often and I wouldn't if they are too close to this. Um, curl that this way. Okay, let's add in some little pumpkins in here. Let's see, maybe this one, a little speckled right in here. Um, okay, we've got a few more left. So let's add them maybe in the kitchen. I'm gonna put these in that vase just for safekeeping. Um, and I gotta put up my old my summer wreath too. Okay, I've got a few more, so I'm thinking we're gonna put these in the kitchen or maybe on the bar cart. I'm thinking let's add them over to this little area. I've got my some greens in here and I think they would be 
can't add it in here. Oopsies. Ah, that's cute. Just a little hint. All right, y'all. We got our house ready for fall. It is so pretty. I love this season. Um, I know this was kind of a weird format. I've not done one like this, like a list with like a decorate with me, but um, I have limited stuff for fall. I really go all out for Christmas. Like I don't have a ton of storage space to keep everything. So I try not to like indulge too much and like buy too many things. But I, I do like having decorations up for the season. Little pumpkins sprinkled everywhere and you know, dried florals and you know, obviously like we talked about the wreath really, to me, makes a home feel updated and ready for the new season. So I hope you liked today's video. Um, if Tell me in the comments below, are you ready for fall? Are you itching to put your stuff out? Like, have you gone shopping or do you have a fall to-do list? Like, I just wanna know, like what are y'all doing? Because I feel like you either love fall, like it is your season or you're just like, yeah, whatever, it's fine. It's gearing up for the dead of winter. Like, who loves this? Like, I feel like you are either a summer person or a fall person. I, I don't feel like there's a lot of in between. So tell me below what your favorite season is. Tell me if you have a to-do list for the fall. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I, like I said before, am trying to adjust my schedule and fit things in as I can. So um, you'll probably see videos from me every other week, every three weeks, something like that. Um, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you aren't already. I'm trying to grow my channel. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. And happy fall, y'all.